On a whirlwind tour of Florida, President Kennedy visits Cape Canaveral for a first-hand look at the mighty Saturn I missile. This vehicle will carry a 19,000-pound payload into space next month, a payload larger than any the Russians have launched. At takeoff, it will have a thrust of a million and a half pounds, again, far ahead of Russian achievements. Then there's a quick helicopter flight to sea, where the president will witness a firing of a Polaris underwater missile from the submerged submarine Andrew Jackson. The observation ship is named, aptly enough, the Observation Island. The president's visit is regarded as an effort to focus attention on the nation's space program and speed appropriation bills in Congress. The president watches with close interest as the Polaris breaks through the surface of the sea and heads down the Atlantic missile range. Under his personal flag, the Commander-in-Chief discusses the technical aspects of the shot, an informal portrait of an ex-Navy man in action. Both official Washington and the man on the street expressed shock when Russia arrested a Yale professor on spy charges. At his news conference, the President stated emphatically that Professor Frederick Barghorn was there on a cultural mission. I can assure you that the Department of State, our embassy in Moscow, will do everything it can to uh, effect the early release of the professor. His arrest is unjustified. I repeat again, he was not on an intelligence mission of any kind. I'm hopeful that this will become quickly obvious to the Soviet Union and that they will release him. Apparently nonplussed at the furor raised in the U.S., the Russians released him. Professor Barghorn, in the dark suit, arrives in New York, looking worn and haggard after 16 days in Moscow's Lubyanka prison. He is greeted by State Department officials, his brother, and his aunt, who has a kiss of thanksgiving. From the New York airport, the professor is flown back to New Haven and the Yale campus, where he so long had worked for better U.S.-Russian cultural exchanges. At a news conference, he waves aside questions on his arrest for the time being, saying only that it remains a mystery to him. He added that in Russia, you can be accused of intelligence activity merely by walking down the street.